So what do pounds and ounces and gallons and cups have in common? It is the number 16. 16 cups make a gallon and 16 ounces make a pound. So the math will be exactly the same whether you are cooking a recipe using tablespoons, cups and gallons or measuring steel plates in pounds and ounces. Let me show you how this math is done. We'll do some simple, fairly simple stuff here side by side and uh, some more involved further down here. So let's get started with pounds and ounces. Four pounds and two ounces is an easy number and that's how measurements are written. And if you see a dash between them, that's just a dash and not a subtraction. Okay, so let's multiply this number by five. And then I rewrite the same thing in, uh, in uh, gallons and cups. So, what you do is you take the multiplier, the five, and you multiply it with the ounces first, five by two, then you just write it, write it down here. This is your ounces column, 10 ounces. Next one is pounds, four by five is 20, and you write it down in the pounds column. This would be the pounds column, and you just leave them there. In this case, this multiplication is done. The answer is 20 pounds, 10 ounces. Super straightforward. In, uh, in the next example, with pounds, that's going to be a little more complex. Uh, there's going to be amounts that, that are more than 15 in the ounces column, and they need to be carried over in multiples of 16 to make pounds. How this works with gallons and cups is pretty much the same. Say we have three gallons and four cups. And that's again not subtraction, that's multiplication. And let's multiply it by another number, how about three? There's not gonna be a carryover in this one either. Three by four is 12, and you write it down in the cups column here. And three by three is nine. The final answer is nine gallons and 12 cups. We're done with this one. Now, let's try another number and uh, carry over. How about, how about the same number? Four pounds, two ounces. And let's multiply it by, I don't know, 20. Let's do this one. There's gonna be carry over here. Two by 20 is 40. And you just round, round it, uh, write it down in the ounces column, and, and uh, two by four is eight, plus the zero is 80 pounds. So you write it in the pounds column, and just keep them separate. Now, in the ounces column, the maximum number you can have is 15, because if you do have 16 ounces, 16 ounces make a pound, you carry them over to the pounds column. So let me just write up here some multiples of 16. 1 by 16 is 16, 2 by 16 is 32, 3 by 16 is 48, and 4 by 16 equals uh, 64. Mm, there. So out of these 40 ounces, we can carry over 32 of them. And uh, I, I do like writing the subtraction down here, 40 ounces minus 32 ounces. Now that one is a dash, but that one is a subtraction. So do keep that one in mind and watch out, okay? So we are subtracting 32, and that 32 carries over into the pounds column as two pounds there. So 40 minus 32 is eight ounces, and 80 plus two is 82 pounds. 82 pounds, 8 ounces is the final answer on that one. By and large, the same works with gallons and cups. If we have, how about the same number? 3 gallons and 4 cups. And uh, let's multiply it by, how about 10? We have a recipe with so many cups and so many gallons and uh, and we need to multiply it by 10. 
Well, let's do this the same way. 4 times 10 is 40 cups. And you write it down in the column for the cups. And 3 gallons by 10 is 30 gallons. The 40 gallons is too many. We can carry over. But that's by coincidence, it's the same 40, but the same math is going to work, like I said. Out of 40 cups, we can carry 32 cups over there to the gallons as 2. So after subtraction, we'll have 8 cups and 32 gallons. So that's how these work. Now, if we have just one more twist on it, if you also have tablespoons, because I did mention that, let me show you how tablespoon stuff is being written here. If you have something like two gallons, four cups, and three TBSP and three tablespoons. 16 of these make one cup and 16 cups make a gallon. So there we carry over just one more layer of carrying over. How about multiply this by, I don't know, how about eight times? So, three by eight is 24. You write it in the tablespoon column somewhere here. Four by eight is 32. And two by eight is 16. Uh, 22, uh, 24 is too many, but uh, as the multiples of 16 I've written up here, we can only carry one over from it. So we subtract 16, but that carries over as one into the into the cups column. That's gonna leave us with eight tablespoon. Eight tablespoons. The, this one is 33 cups, but out of 33 cups, we can carry 32 into the gallons as two gallons so we'll have one cup and 18 gallons no, that's how that's how this one is done all right it's fairly straightforward it's all multiples of 16.